looking at the smart display and how this works together with the easy scan. So we have the, the easy scan product, and this could be the, the linear or the curve, or in fact the micro convex probe option. It then works with the smart display, and I'll show you how to attach the easy scan to the back of the smart display and, and use that option. Then the next thing we'll look at is the uh, smart display harness version and uh, I'll go through each application as to what they would be used for. Clearly they are different and they have different applications. What I'm about to show you is how to connect your um, easy scan to your smart display. So the first thing to do is unravel your, the cable as much as you can, put it through the smart display, pop that over your head because obviously the probe is uh, a really important part of the, uh, the system and needs to be obviously protected. Pop that in and you'll be able to hear it click and then you've now connected your smart display. So now we have the easy scan and the smart display connected. We now need to turn the, the system on simply by pressing the on button, holding down the button until you hear a double beep. So there's no need to actually turn it on from the bottom because we have one on button at the top of the display. It will then go through a boot up sequence and you'll be able to see the progress of the actual uh, boot up cycle. Once you've turned your system on and it's booted up, you would then be presented with this particular screen. It is a touch screen, so you could then adjust your menus. So now to show you the first uh, set of options open to, tap on the screen and uh, you'll see the, the menu come up. We then have depths at four centimeters, six centimeters, eustress, fetal sexing, late mode, and then meat science. So if it's back fat that you're looking for to, uh, to take measurements uh, for other uh, pigs or sheep at this stage, we can go into the menu, press the back fat option, select our species in terms of cow, or in this case pig, the uh, screen would then disappear and we're now ready to, uh, to scan the pig. And to assist your back fat operation, we have a, a stylus. As it is a touch screen, simultaneously you could actually use the stylus to, uh, to adjust where it is that you'd actually like to make your adjustments. So now if you'd like to adjust how your image looks, we have that capability on the smart display. Again, touch the, the uh, touch screen, select your viewing option. The first one is your contrast. You can adjust how it is the image looks there. You could then select your brightness and adjust your brightness so you have full control of your image. So with any smart device, you'd want to save the patient details. So this is easily done by pressing your touch screen, pressing the folder option, and then editing some patient details. So now what we'll have a look at is the settings option, which is the, the fourth tab along the bottom. Click on the screen, click on your tab, click the human icon, and what this will show you is your centimeter, your, your grid square, so depending on the size of the grid that you'd like, the probe um, orientation, the battery level, the, uh, the timer, the snooze function, and the measurement function. So you can select either of these and make your adjustments as necessary. Now we're in a good position to be able to connect our easy scan to our smart display harness. So the first thing we want to do is look after the probe. So again, put that over your head or neck, flip your smart display over and pop that into the smart display. And you can hear that click. There's a Velcro strap on the back, which is connected. And uh, we're now going to put this onto our body. We have a waist strap and a leg strap. So the first thing I'm going to do is orientate the straps so that it uh, goes around my body and then connect the, the connector so it clicks in there. Hold it down next to my leg and then tension the straps to where I need it to be. Now that we've uh, adjusted our cables around the waist, we then also have one that goes over the leg so you can get the right elevation. So now that I'm looking at the... Uh, smart display in the orientation that I like to see it. You would then press the on button and have the same features as you saw on the other smart display. 
So that concludes our demonstration of the smart display options, the smart display harness, and smart display. Thanks very much for your time.